for so long I've been trying to get you Me, happy Friday! We made it to Good Friday. I have so many things to show you. This is going to be a true old school haul video. Even going to have to break it up into two. I did a huge Nordstrom order. I think there's like three orders combined. So I am just going to do a Nordstrom video this weekend. It's going to have lots of shoes and some new beauty items. One thing that I got in one of those orders is this lipstick. This is the lipstick that I was wearing that I was so excited to tell you guys about. I love it when I find something that is just like magnificent. I just can't wait to tell you. So I was going to wait until that video. And so before that, I sent a picture to Tammy and I said, this is a must have. You just have to go ahead and order it. Well, when she went to go on the Nordstrom website, it was gone. It is the YSL Rouge Pure Couture number 59 Melon Dior. I got this because of just looking at the swatch on the website. And I think it was when, you know, I got that pink one that I love so much. And I ordered this and oh my gosh, look at it. It is just, it is like the perfect amount of brightness. It is the perfect amount of sheen without looking just old and crackly. So I am going to try to find this. I think Tammy found it at a store. Anyway, I'll ask her and I will link it below because I love it. It looks good with so many lip liners. It's just, I mean, if you just want to dab it over like a nude, kind of like I do the pink one, that would be great. And I'm going to go ahead and share with you my hero products of the week. I have two of them. I have two of them. And this is the first one. You know how I do. You know how I go with the nude, nude, nudes for a while. And then I kind of play that out in my head. And then I go back over to the more of a look like this. Where it's like your lips or the color of my lips but enhanced. So like if I were to take a picture, it would just look like a child's lips or you know what I mean? It's just like that good, pure, rosy lip color. I went out and I purchased two NYX colors thinking that they were going to be good. They were the suede ones and they were not good. And I just like, okay, I just need to go through the ones I have. I couldn't think of anything. I tried Laura Mercier Plumberry. That didn't get it. And I do love Estee Lauder Rose. I was just looking for something that was literally like my lip color. And I had this one and I remember loving this. It is the new Chanel lip liner in Pavone, number 164. Now back in the day, Chanel nude was just my thing. I wore it with everything. That was the 90s, so I had a dark lip and then I would wear the light on the inside. So this would be good for that. But like today, I have it on with this which is the city lips san diego and i brought this out here to show you my clear they are getting ready to have a sale a bogo sale and i believe it starts it's not right now but i wanted to go ahead and tell you so you didn't get that until the sale starts hold on city lips bogo sale um gloss and matte it's april 4th through 7th also, it's unlimited. Buy three, get three, etc. I will put that the details down below and I will remind you on the fourth because these two glosses I never, ever, ever want to be without. If you are someone who doesn't like color but doesn't want clear, then like um, Nude York and Tokyo Nude. Nude York is going to be your shimmery nude, more of a sheer. And then Tokyo Nude and Pink Nude and Nude are your more creamy looks. But these two are my absolute favorites. Okay, now the next hero of the week is this Mickey Mouse. I have worn this cheek color and palette every day. It's just, it reminds me of Pillow Talk, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Or it's just... I don't know. I've got on another new bronzer that I'm going to show you, but this is in with the bronzer. It is beautiful. It is just not patchy. 
it's the perfect color. Sometimes I use the highlighter. Sometimes I just mix them up. But every time I put that on, I love it. And then the next day, I'll go to get a blush or something, and I'll just think about this, and I've just got to wear it again. So it is gorgeous. The packaging is gorgeous. Even if you're not a big Mickey fan, I think you would love this. It is beautiful. So the next thing that is on my cheeks is the new Wayne Goss the Radiance Boosting Face Palette, Satin Bronze and Bronze and Sculpt. The one I'm wearing is Bronze Glow and Medium Taupe. So it is the medium palette. Beautylish sent me all three palettes. Thank you to Beautylish. So I'm going to show all three to you, but I want to start off with the one that I'm wearing so that you can see it on. Okay, I just watched his video yesterday or last night because I wanted to hear him explain the reasoning behind everything. And what it is, is this powder right here is going to be your, not really a shimmer, but like a glowy powder. But it's not a powder that you use all over your face. It's a powder that you use if you are bronzing, but not contouring. I just put it like along my hairline. I kind of started off my you know, contour and bronzing routine. So I didn't use anything like typically I would use like the YSL or the um, the new Dior. So I was able to skip that initial color that I use and go in with this color. Then when it came to true bronzing and contouring, I went to the matte, which it's not even, see, it's got the best tone. Here, let me swatch this. So it's not even that matte. It's like a smooth satin. I would say more like a satin. And you can see that this one, which is this color, has a little bit more of that contour neutral tone. Beautiful. So that is the medium. If you are my skin tone, I think you would like this. I don't think it's too dark. I think it's just perfect. This is the Radiance Boosting Face Palette in Deep Copper and bronze and sculpt and okay so this is let's see and then this one is okay yeah so this is the lightest one this is soft cold <laughs> not cold glow soft gold glow and light taupe i got this out this morning because i thought maybe i should try this one but i really think this is going to be perfect for you girls that are pale that you are have that good ivory um, almost a cool tone skin tone I think this is going to be perfect or if you're someone that doesn't want any warmth and you just literally want to sculpt your nose or sculpt your eyes this would be perfect so that's the lightest one and then this is the darkest one I mean I think anyone could probably use any of the palettes in some form one thing he talked about it kind of was gratifying. He talked about using this to sculpt your eyes and then going in with any color that you want. And that's what I always tell you guys. Once you do your, you know, crease color and you get that good sculpt in there, especially with a tone like these, then you can do anything with your lid and your outer V. You can go in with colors. You can do purple, green, whatever, because you've already sculpted your eye and that he was saying these were good for that too. I should have tried that today, but I have another new product on that I wanted to show you. So good job, Wayne. Thank you to Beautylish for sending these to me. I was another product I have on today that you will not be able to see. I don't know if you'll even be able to tell maybe around my nose, but it's the new Colleen Rothschild Black Tourmaline Face Primer. I used it today, so I can already tell you I loved the way makeup applied over it. I do think that it helped with my pores. I loved the way it applied, you know, sank in my skin and everything else. And hopefully by the time I am editing this video and posting it tonight, I will let you know if it helped my makeup just last or stay new looking all day. It's like a gel base. It reminded me of the Sicily a little bit that I love so much. It just blends right out and really is just, I would say, a very, very light, pleasant fragrance. Nothing, it's not really 
if I had to say, gosh, what's in it? Because it's probably something that's in it that is, let's see, black tourmaline face primer preps and primes skin, smoothing away for an ideal makeup application. The black gemstone powder, known to be a symbol of strength, helps create a protective barrier against environmental stressors and pollutants. Fortified with black truffle, rich in minerals to help mattify your complexion while diminishing the appearance of pores and wrinkles. Apply a thin, even layer onto clean skin. Over your moisturizer can be worn alone or under makeup. You know what I did? I put it on instead of any type of moisturizer or anything like that because I just wanted to see how this did. But even look at my hand. It is just so pretty. I don't know if you can tell the difference in how pretty it is and it gives it just really feels like that Sicily. i don't even know where my Sicily is right now since i moved i hadn't even hardly been using a primer but i will have to do that when it gets warmer and i live in i, I thought i lived in the humidity capital of the united states but when i went to miami i realized it wasn't but i live in a humid climate so I really liked, I wore the YSL All Hours and I loved the way it applied over it today. So another good product from Colleen. I was just reading this. It says it has charcoal powder in it to control oil and shine. Cordata flower helps lock in moisture. That's probably what I smell. And black truffle conditions, even skin tone. So it's gonna be like a primer and a skincare. And now, have you been looking at the twinkling on my eyes? That's probably a little too much, but I wanted you to be able to see it because it is a new liquid shadow from Galactic. She sent me a little package with some different like lip balms and a new mascara and these in there. And so I chose Love. I This is just right on time because in the summer, I love to have something just like that or a cream shadow or a shadow stick. I don't like a lot of, I've got Bubba right here underneath me sleeping. So that's why I'm having to sit on the edge of my chair. But anyway, so let's see which one this one is. But in the summer, you, I like just a one shadow. You know, I just kind of like a simple look in the summer. Okay, so this one is going to be more of a, that one's kind of pinky. This one looks like it's going to be more of a tan, ooh, bronzy type color. Hmm, let's do a little bit of this, like right here. Oh my goodness, I did too much. Okay, I brought some Q-tips because I knew I might want to try some of these. What do you think? This is pretty. This might be prettier than what I have on far as... Woo! That is so pretty. I love it. I love stuff like this in the summertime. To me, this is just summer. And this last one is going to be a cooler lighter color this one would be i probably would not do this one all over i would do this one maybe in the inner corner beautiful beautiful so thank you so much galactic for sending those things to me i love it i love that those both of those colors even together i love them i haven't even mentioned to you guys the reason i didn't post a video on wednesday is because I have kind of a complicated one that I had to do voiceover and I had to do music and everything else. I recorded my hair visit this week. I got new little highlights and covered my gray and did a base color and then she did it with that cool curler. So I recorded that with Morgan and then I got my lash lift and tint this week. So I have not curled my lashes or done anything and I wanted to use, Galactic sent me this new mascara. Where is it? I looked at it. Okay, it's Lash Play Duo Mascara. And one end has like a detail type wand that would be great for your lower lashes. And then the other end just has the regular wand. And I wanted to try it, but I wanted to kind of do apples to apples. I wanted you to be able to compare my lashes to the last time you saw me to now with the same mascara. So I've got on the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push-Up Mascara. And she said, 
I'm not even going to say anything. I'll just let you wait until the video. She did not want me to video the entire thing. I don't blame her. And I really, after I thought about it, I thought, I don't really think I want anybody really nervous around my eyes. <laughs> so, but we did answer some questions, take some pictures, and get just a little bit of footage. So, this weekend, probably tomorrow, I will post that video, which will be hair and lashes. And then Sunday, I will probably post my Nordstrom haul video. Oh, okay, you guys, funny story. I have a dress to show you that I ordered that I love, and I really wanted to wear it today, but I'll give you my weather lady report. It is sunny and beautiful outside, but the high is 50. So I can't wear this dress today, or I don't want to, because it's just a summertime dress. So I tried it on today and took a little video that I'll put in here in a minute. <laughs> And I just went up and down the stairs three times looking for this dress. I was like, where did I put it after I tried it on and took pictures? Then I remembered. <laughs> I tried it on real quick with nothing underneath it just before I started getting dressed. And when I was taking it off, I was like butt naked in the room and John came in. So I ran in the closet <laughs> real quick <laughs> and shut the door. And you know what I mean. You just can't let... You cannot let them see you sometimes. I had hung it on the back side of the closet door on the door handle. So I just found it, but here it is. Excuse me, Bubba. It is so pretty, so pretty. And it is that fabric. Let's see what it's made of. A 95% viscose and 5% spandex, which is always good. Machine wash cold, dry flat, do not tumble dry, which that's fine. I don't dry a lot of things, but I think it's going to be a perfect summer dress to wear with flip-flops or wedges, a good vacation dress, and I think so many of you would like it, and it would also be a very, very packable dress because it's made out of this material. You could probably roll it right up in your suitcase and it would be great. Really planning on showing you that right now, but I couldn't resist telling you my story. Then I do have one pair of shoes that I pre-ordered a while ago, probably a month ago, and they just came in. They are the Gia Times, I don't even know who this person is, Pernil Tisa back or something, but they're these and they're very kind of Bottega-esque. I saw them on Mel Sodera. I think I saw them on her page or her Instagram and I just thought they were cool looking. They come in many colors and these, I mean, that's actually Velcro. So you can adjust them to fit your foot and I just thought they were pretty cool. So I grabbed those. Are you tired of sunglasses? I'm never tired of sunglasses, but I was in Oliver and Kelly just started carrying Chloe sunglasses. It's a really big coincidence. And I had someone say that the sunglasses that I showed you last week are seconds or something beware. That's not true. I have a very good inside source that told me they are Chloe sunglasses, but Nordstrom just needs to move things. They need to get things going and get sell it and get it out and get the new stuff in. This is from the new collection. I got these from Oliver and they are really cool. So I went ahead and got them and they are, I don't know, I looked at them this morning and I cannot remember how to do it, but let me show you the sunglasses first. Fabulous, fabulous. I love the colors. I love the shape. I love everything about them. And the cool thing is this top part, I will put the picture right in here, comes off. So they're really a round pair of pink sunglasses. And then this blue part snaps on them. So they're like two pairs of sunglasses in one. Aren't they beautiful? Just look at the like, ir not iridescent, but that blue pink color. They're just gorgeous, gorgeous. So here they are. And I think that they're beautiful. So I decided to gold it up and go with these today. 
I love sunglasses too that I can see my eyes through. And of course, you will get a discount like I get a discount and I will put that down below in case you want to get those. Okay, is there anything else up here that I need to show you, tell you about? You know, I'm looking at this Galactic and it looks like um, that shadow comes in lots of different colors. I may have to make a play for that dark one, but I really like those. I really do. And then she sent me, she also sent me these. I haven't tried them yet. They are the uh, pink lemonade scent infused with vitamin E, avocado oil, aloe vera, apricot kernel oil, but they are like glossy sticks. Okay, so I'm going to stand up and show you my outfit of the day. I'll be right back. These are a pair of jeans from Abercrombie. They are high-waisted. They are a little flare. I've got on my Uggs right now. I can't decide what shoes I want to wear today because I'm going to have to wear some type of jacket. So that kind of will tell me what shoes to wear. Um, you guys probably remember this satiny green top from, I think I got it from and other stories. But what's good about these jeans is I would say they're pretty true to size. These are a 27 and they do give some. So they'll end up being kind of loose, but still a really good fit. And yesterday I wore them with these and they looked perfect. But I don't wanna wear these again. I feel like I'm wearing these so much. These are the Bottega. So I think, I don't know about the Bottega. I think, I don't know. Let me know what shoe you like the best. And then, this is a new handbag from a company. The makers and founders of this company, they have actually sent me a handbag in the past that Brooke ended up getting. Sometimes that happens. But it was black with blue and white stripe. They focus on faux leather, vegan handbags. And she sent this to me and she also sent me a code for you guys to go over and look at her website. She's friends with Dean Davidson. She's from Canada. And she sent me this bag, which is a belt bag. So it has the strap with it. It has a really pretty purple inside. And I love these when I travel. Especially like, I think the last time I used one when I went to Reward Style, it was awesome. I think it was a Kate Spade. And then um, the last time that John and the kids and I went to Washington, to D.C., walking around, I used one that I got from Zara. And I actually bought two. Brooke used one and I used one. They're so good to use on shopping days or vacation. So this is from there. I think it is so pretty. I love the shade of green. And when I was showing it to Tammy, she said that would look good belted over one of your blazers and it would it would look good with so many things these look really good over um like kind of like that dress i showed you but like a solid color and i will tell you this from very good experience is if you are self-conscious of your tummy <laughs> like i was for many years they are great to kind of give you a waist but hide a little bit of tummy so thank you so much to Ela for sending this to me. It is beautiful and it is the khaki belt bag and I will put their website. The lining of this bag is made from 100% recycled plastic bottles. Huh. Okay, so I think a lot of you would love her designs. They're more minimal and like I said, vegan. That is it for today. I will post that other video of my hair and my lashes. Did I go a little crazy here? That's okay. And I will post that and I may post two on Saturday. I don't know. I'll post them both this weekend. I promise. And for jewelry today, I have on this ring, which I have really enjoyed from Kendra Scott. I couldn't resist wearing this to match my top from Dean Davidson. And then the rest is Jenny Bird. It's one of her I'll put the exact, this is actually one necklace, one chain, and then this is another, and I decided to just go on for it and do a little over gold and put that on, and then my ear's doing good. Everything's great. Everything's peachy. <laughs> I hope it is with you too, and I will see you this weekend. Thank you so much for being here. Bye-bye.